live from the number one fishing port in America. Welcome to the Paul Santo Show. Yeah. Yeah, baby mama. Yeah, baby mama. This is the place where we highlight not only the talented, not only the interesting, but the entertaining in our area. That's right. We're happy to be brought to you by Duso and Zader, Bayco. Shout out to Isaacs and Solar, Iron Pools and Spas, and Empire Ford as well. Tonight, an unbelievable, I mean an unbelievable musician mm. is with us here this evening. He plays a sexy sax, baby. That's right, <laughs> a sexy sax. It is Mr. Manny Escobar. Yeah. Nothing like a little uh, sax on a Monday night, I'll tell you that. And we also have, <laughs> we also, <laughs> so, so I can hear a pin drop. <laughs> we also have here tonight a DJ, a singer, yes. master of everything, Mr. Jordan Piver is here yeah. tonight. Yeah. 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 And the yeah. sidekick of the century, the one and only, Mr. Chops Turner is in oh. Yeah. Oh. Night is all the way, baby. Oh. Night is. <laughs> 49ers, baby. <laughs> 49ers. Oh, no, no, no 49ers. No 49ers. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right, here we go. We're, we're going to get caught up in the news, okay? okay. You ready for that, Chops? Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Caught up in the news. All right. You know, I'm a little, a little annoyed tonight, Chops. A little Why annoyed. Is that? Yeah, well, you know, the state, they're, they're, they're changing the highway exit numbers. Imagine that. The highway no. exit numbers, right? They've been the same for years and years, and now they're going to go and change them on us? I know. What are they going to do? Kill them Yeah, what the hell? I mean, it's been exit 8, exit 9, exit 10. Now they're going to change the whole thing around. I mean, it's confusing enough as it is. You know, sure I, is. Chops, I came to a toll booth the other day. Mm -hmm. One lane said cash only. The other said easy pass, no cash. So I thought, I ain't got no cash. I'm going through that one. <laughs> <laughs> so the next thing I know, I got this, this fine in the mail. You know, you know you get I got a fine in the mail for going through the easy pass. Hey, I'll, oh, I'll, 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 I'll give you an easy pass, all right? <laughs> easy, easy pass right here. <laughs> That was an easy pass, all right. <laughs> you know, I, I always thought easy pass was something you took when you were constipated. Uh, nah, I guess not. Uh, <laughs> easy pass. Easy pass. Easy pass. <laughs> not so easy pass. <laughs> anyway, well, you know, I, I, I want to congratulate a couple of uh, Kushner police officers, you know, Danny mm -hmm. D. Amaral and Jeremy Fonts for being promoted to sergeant. Now, I have to ask a question here. We don't do politics here, but, but I have to ask a question. Why do you have to be pro-police or anti-police? Like, we don't do that with anything. They're not profession. That's right. Like, do we ever say, like, are you anti-plumber or pro-plumber? <laughs> you know? Is anybody right. here anti-plumber or pro-plumber? Yeah, no, right, no. Right, I mean, right, it depends. Right. Like, for example, Chops, right. Chops, if you hired a plumber right. to fix a toilet, right. and then you woke up with a poop log floating down uh. the hall, <laughs> you would say, that guy's an a-hole plumber, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's a case by case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Case by case. Man, doesn't right. mean all the other plumbers are no good, you know? Oh, my God. Doesn't mean you're anti. How about doctors? You can have, like, bad doctors, and yeah. then you can also have good doctors, you know? Right. Especially the ones that do the old thing like this. <laughs> Did the glove on? <laughs> and then, of course, there's my profession, lawyers. Oh, never mind. Forget that one. Hey! <laughs> They're all bad until your kid's in trouble. It's like, my kid's in trouble, right, my kid's right, in trouble. That's right. Anyway, um, all right, Chops, you know, I wanted to give you another foliage update. Oh, <laughs> <You know>? no. <laughs> don't, don't sound so excited, you know. <laughs> yeah, we went up to New Hampshire. You know, there, there are a couple of pictures I forgot to show you here. What was that? Right here. See this one right here? Isn't that beautiful? That's beautiful oh, yeah. that's just a beautiful thing, right? Look at that beautiful What's foliage. That New the beautiful colors. Yeah, beautiful from New Hampshire and everything. Wow, that's beautiful. All right, let's go to the next picture now. And here's another one right here. Oh, oh wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute, how did that get in here? <laughs> oh, that's, that's some good foliage right there, I'll tell you. That is some good foliage. That's some good foliage. You sure that ain't uh, salty lips over there? <laughs> that came from salty lips. How did that get in here? Oh, my God. Well, anyway, yeah, good, good, good foliage, good foliage. Yeah, yeah, good foliage. Good foliage. <laughs> well, uh, I just wanted to mention, Chops, I, you know, I told you I'm a little irritated tonight. You know, there was a meteor shower the other night. And so I'm watching TV, and they're like, hey, don't forget to miss the meteor shower. Don't forget to see the meteor shower tonight. You don't want to miss it and all that. And then you know what happened? Wait. I forgot to go outside to see it. <laughs> so then the next day on TV, they're like, oh, they had this great meteor shower last night. I'm like, damn it, I can't believe I that know, I didn't go outside it. to see the damn meteor shower. I missed I it, too. Yeah, I know. I know we would never miss any baby showers. <laughs> <laughs> what, another cousin got knocked yeah, up? Yeah. Ka-ching, yeah. ka-ching. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> another cousin got knocked up. Ka-ching, ka-ching. <laughs> Keep it in your pants, for Christ's sake. Ka-ching, ka-ching. 
<laughs> anyway, all right. Is, are, are the guests still here? <laughs> yeah, they're still here. They're quietly. <laughs> 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 They'll be playing taps pretty soon. The way yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. where that monologue's going. Well, anyway. Uh... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We might as well stop passing them out. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much, Jerry. Thank you. All right, don't don't worry. It gets better. It gets, we always get off to a slow exactly. start. Slow start. By the way, Chop, speaking of the, the meteor showers and all mm -hmm. that, uh, this is actually true. Have you seen Mars in the night sky? No. Yeah, if you look east that night, see it right there? Yeah. You can see Mars in the night sky. you got to look towards the east, like oh, down okay. the Cape. You know, remember last week we were supposed to have a show with that, right. the guy that was abducted by a UFO? Oh, yeah, what happened to him? He, he's on Mars. He's right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's him right there. He got abducted. Oh, God. All right. Well, anyway, <laughs> a reminder, we, <laughs> we have a new show on the Bedford Guide. Wednesday night's called Wellness Wednesday with Help and Hope South Coast. And don't forget the Chops Turner Show every Sunday night yes. on the Chops Turner Turner Channel. Yes, and then you, you come in here with this 49. Hey, what, man, what, you know what I'm putting out here, man. You hey, know. wait a minute. You, you, got a, you got a new sweatshirt for your birthday? Oh, yeah, right. My uh, sister-in-law brought me this for uh, for my birthday. No man. kidding. I want to get a close look at this. Right oh, yeah. What is oh, wait, 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 wait. What's that? <laughs> hey, watch it, man. I'll see you Sunday. We'll see you Sunday, Patriots. Hey, and we what? will get you, Cam. What, what's that Patriot thing on the top there? <laughs> hey, what is that, man? <laughs> get that 49ers out of here. Oh, but you better be careful. <laughs> we'll see you Sunday. <laughs> I'm going to be at the game with Josh. Oh, man, you, better, you better be careful. Tom Brady might be coming yeah, in in yeah. a second. We'll really be in trouble. All right, our first guest tonight is a talented musician with a saxophone. Let's hear it from Mr. Manny Escobar. Hey, Amen. <laughs> Taste of the sax there. Right, great to see you again, Manny. See you too, man. yeah. All right, we're going to little Thanks little bit about you. Manny before we get a few more performances tonight. But you're a teacher as well as a performer, right? Yes. Tell me about that. An educator. Um, I teach right here at a uh, global uh, global learning charter public school, uh, right here in, on Ashley Boulevard. Actually, been there for the past uh, two and a half years. I teach a string program uh, full of just the most talented and passionate kids. Uh, in, in the area. I'm uh, super, super blessed to be there still. Um, and I also teach at a performing arts academy in Providence called Trinity Academy for the Performing Arts. And uh, yeah, these kids, these kids all keep me young. Yeah, absolutely. You, know, you can see the grades. You can see the grades right here. Are you from New England, are you? Say it again? Are you from New England? Not originally. No, I've been out here for uh, a little over 20 years now. Where are you from originally? Uh, Chicago. Oh, no kidding. Oh, Bears, yeah. Oh, Chi right Town, baby. All right. Bears, thank you. Five and one. Five and one. I'm just saying. <laughs> First time in how many years? Listen, listen. I take, let's take the win. I'm going to take the W, guys. I'll take the W, all right, guys? So as far as, you know, performing and things like that, what do you have working right now? Um, so obviously with COVID, oh, uh, God, three quarters of my calendar was just wiped out. Um, I work for a music agency out of Boston. Um, and then freelance on the side and whatnot. And so I've got about a quarter of my calendar back-ish, but uh, it's, it's just, it's been tough, man. It's been really tough. And I'm, I mean, I'm blessed to get any gigs that I can at this point. Um, I'm looking at my calendar for next year and I'm just like, oh God, hold on until 2021. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's been uh, just kind of a wait and see kind of thing. What's it like teaching? Yeah. I know a lot of performers really enjoy that. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I absolutely love it. Again, when you teach, you kind of, you know, you're learning twice. You know what I mean? You, you get to deepen and further the knowledge that you have or correct some of the knowledge that you, that you thought was, was uh, true and effective. And um, then the kids themselves, they come up with their own um, way of, of receiving the information that causes me to think of it differently, like um, teaching strings. Okay, how do we visualize the fretboard when it doesn't have any tape or any markers on it? You, you know what I mean by fretboard, right? Just the, the part of yes. the instrument that you press down. So how do we visualize, um, you know, the different frets and whatnot? 
uh, and it's just, I, I don't know, for the kids themselves, it's just, I, it, it's nice to see them engaged in it and uh, practicing and coming up with their own cool questions and, you know, ways of, uh, of interpreting the material, so. It's really amazing because the yeah. sax is kind of the sweet spot, but you play like a lot of different instruments. I, I like to stay busy, man. You have the keyboard, <laughs> you play the keyboard. And... Yeah, um, yeah, the piano was, piano is one of those instruments everyone, everyone should learn. Everyone should definitely learn how to play any instrument that they can, but I would definitely suggest if you don't know how to play an instrument, start with like piano or guitar or something. So when I was in music school, um, in about the age of 14-ish, everyone, no matter what your principal instrument, you had to learn how to play piano. So like, I was not very good at it, I really wasn't. You know, I actually failed my first, uh, I failed my first semester of piano sophomore year. I was the only one in the whole conservatory at Merritt School of Music in Chicago. To, to fail, Mr. Hunter's, uh, I'm sorry, Dr. Hunter's piano class. <laughs> you had to mention the professor that failed you. Oh yeah, no, he failed me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, he hey. failed me, yeah, look, I earned that. I earned you're it. you're I talking about Chicago, that. remember Michael Jordan got cut from the high school team? Same, same thing. You know? So, so <laughs> I've practiced my butt off since then and yeah. I never failed another piano class, I'm just saying. Nice. Uh, and now I teach piano at Trinity Academy of Formula. He's so. fantastic. Yeah. Well, I know you want to play something else for us. Oh, do I? And you know we have we have the yeah. great pleasure of having Chops Turner here all the time. Chops. So we're going to ask yeah. Chops to step on over and maybe you can just kind of like uh, improvise well, something over here. Huh? Yeah. Come on yeah. down, Chops, my man. This gentleman right here. All right, Chops yeah, and, uh, and Manny, let's see what you can do here. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, there goes uh, Chops. Uh, Chops is taller than Manny. <laughs> all right, go for it. I guess you wonder where I've been I search to find the love within I came back to let you know Got a thing for you And I can't let it go Some people go around the world full of love they may never find what they dreamed of. What you won't do, maybe do for love. You tried everything, but you don't give up. In my world, only you made me do for love what I would not do. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Chops Turner. Yeah, putting, yeah, yeah. putting you right on the spot over there. <laughs> All right, Manny. Well, uh, maybe you can give us one more little uh, solo tune here before you go. We'd love to hear it. We know you're a terrific musician. We really thank you for coming down. You're teaching the kids of New Bedford. You're enjoying playing. And hopefully when the COVID uh, coronavirus goes by, you can get back into the swing of things, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I would like that. I would definitely like that. Yeah, we can, uh, you know, we can keep our fingers crossed, right? And keep our masks on. Yeah, absolutely, fingers absolutely. Crossed, masks on. Yeah, we're yeah. social distancing. We all have our masks, yeah, but yeah. Oh, and we yeah. all had them on before we came in. Yes, so, we did, yes. Yes. <laughs> all right, one more time. He's thinking. He's thinking. Uh, I'll just look. All right, here we go. Man, <laughs> Escobar, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Manny, thanks a lot for coming down. Really appreciate it. Manny Escobar, okay. Our next guest is a singer. He's a DJ. He's a comedian. And he's doing some fun stuff for Halloween. Welcome, Mr. Jordan Paiva. Ladies and gentlemen. And I got some Corona for you. Yeah, thank you very much. A little Corona. Look at that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. A little Corona. Be careful with that Corona. Hey, don't worry, it's lights. It's yeah, it's yeah, Corona the light. Yeah, Corona. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I like to think that Jordan is a very known, very known quantity here in southeastern Massachusetts, playing music, weddings, DJ, the whole thing. But you came up with this thing about the Halloween spectacular, right? 
And, you know, you got your house all decorated. In fact, let's take a picture right here, or not take a picture, put up a picture of the Halloween spectacular. And you really decorated your house. I mean, you have really, you have really gone, you know, right, right, right up there, right over the the top, right? Halloween of La Salette. Yes, exactly. Yeah, right. Isn't that great? Yeah, so how did you end up deciding to do this? So, um, Growing up as a kid, there was this uh, lovely woman in Dartmouth on Slocum Road. She decorated her house from top to bottom. Um, her husband uh, actually owns Richie's Auto in uh, Dartmouth. And, uh, you know, growing up as a kid, my mother always took us to that house. And that was like, that was the house in Dartmouth to go to. And, uh, you know, it's been such a tough year. And I said to my wife, uh, probably at the end of July, I says, you know what? I did something big for Christmas I want to do something big for Halloween. I want to do it for the kids. Because everything for the kids has just been canceled. Canceled, canceled. Right. I always wanted to be that house one day. And uh, look at that. The, the, that it's it, amazing. And the number one thing that I get is, oh, I don't want to see your electricity bill. My God. <laughs> and uh, surprisingly, everything there is LED and high, like low efficiency. So... We, we, we finally got a good month of using it. It only cost me 25 bucks. That's it. Wow. $25. 25 bucks? That. Are you kidding me? Wow. Jeez, my God. It was a lot of work. It took, <laughs> it, it took a, a day and a half to do it. We got at 8 o'clock in the morning. We're out there until 9 p.m. And then we had to take another day to do it. We had a couple of guys bring the big Frankenstein up there. <laughs> my God. It was, you got to have the Frankenstein. You know? oh, it was, like, was like a must. <laughs> it was a whole production. Well, so you've done some shows already, right? Yes. Um, we were going to do the first one October 1st. And then uh, I talked to my neighbor, Dan, and I says, hey, why don't I do a test run? It was the last week of September. And I was like, let's do a test run. I went on Facebook Live like 8 o'clock in the morning. He says, listen, we're going to do a show tonight. Come, don't come. We had over 100 people. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm going to go to jail. <laughs> I'm going to go to jail. Well, speaking of which, you know, uh, and I got to mention this to Chops, right? He had a show the other day. Somebody actually called the cops, eh? Yeah. I mean, what, are you running a rave over there or what's yeah. going on? <laughs> so I was like, everybody, Jerry, Jerry, throw your Jerry beans. And Jordan, he's just like uh, out of control, oh, you know? Oh, my God. What, what's yeah, going on over so there? The, the, you know, the Dartmouth police have been just so amazing. They, yes. they, they really are. Yeah, somebody... Somebody calls. Um, that Jordan Piper, he's out of control, man. I tell you. Yeah. He's out yeah. of control, that man. That guy's out of control. What's he doing? This free, this free stuff for these people. My God. Oh, my God. No, but yeah, but the, the police officer was very cool. He's like, listen. On with the show. On with the show. <laughs> it says, the, the, the chief is over there. He's watching it with his, grand, with his grandchildren. So on with the show. I'm like, done. Done. <laughs> Now, the next one is tomorrow, if you're watching this live, on the 19th. So it'll be the 20th, right? Yeah, this week. Um, so it was going to be my son's first trip to Disney in April. Uh, he's, he's a year and a half, almost two. And we're going to take him to Disney for the first time. And obviously, everything got canceled. And I'll, I've, had, I've had so many people message me and say, hey, we were going to take the kids for the first time to Disney, first time to Disney, everything. So I says, I wanted to do a show dedicated to my son. And uh, it took me two and a half hours to make this show on the computer. And uh, this week, the 20th and the 24th, it's a whole Disney spectacular. So it's all music for Disney. And we're going to do some things that Governor Baker wouldn't approve of. But we're going <laughs> to... We're going to... We'll oh, leave that. Oh, he's breaking the laws again? What's this, this guy? Man? Bring it on. This guy's like doubling down over that's here. It, you know, it, doubling it. down. Watch out for Karen. She lives over there. Uh, but... Uh, we, we just, uh, anybody that wants to come tomorrow or Saturday, we remind you to grab your maxi pad. We invite you to put that yeah. over <laughs> your, yes. bring it over and. Uh, I can see you fit right into the yeah. type of comedy we like to do here. Yeah. Bring uh, in the maxi pad, put it over your face. All right, so it's the 20th, right? The 20th tomorrow yes. and then the 24th, which is Saturday. Right, so. and then, is that it? Or there's one and after then, that, uh, right? So those are just Disney shows, and then we're going to go back on the 25th, which is Sunday, and then the 29th, which is a Thursday, those are going to be the last Halloween shows. And then we take a little break, and then we'll be back for Christmas. Yeah, so this is going to be at 7.30 on each of the nights. 7.30 7.30 to 8. Uh, get there early. Make sure that you get They a- come an hour early. I'm telling you, it's like TSA. I have to, like... I have so much anxiety about this. It's not even. I don't funny. know why, because you know I've seen you. You're a talented performer. You I know? say it every night. It says for the guy that's not getting paid for this. <laughs> this is. I'm going to have a stroke. Speaking of be being a talented performer, uh, 
Can you give us like a 30 second snippet of like, are you going to sing a Disney song or like, how does that go down? I can show you the world, Ooh. shining, shimmering, Corona. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was good. And then I had I, we had somebody uh, come to the Halloween show and uh, actually call my aunt and be like, "I drove all the way there. I thought he was gonna sing, and he didn't even do that once." Oh. And I was like, "I don't know how to sing any Halloween songs, but thanks for coming. Feel free to join the decorations on the lawn." <laughs> Hey, do, hey, do you do you do anything from Frozen or? Uh... Oh, let it go, let it go. Oh my gosh, I can't. <laughs> What's the other one? In summer. I love it. I love it. I love it. Hey, you heard about the singing lessons, right? You heard about the singing lessons. I only had one. I only have one lesson in so far. Sharon Jensen, she better put you into shape. She's gonna do it. We're She's still, gonna do it. You know, I figured. I heard about how great she is in teaching people She's how to sing. She's amazing. So I figured. All right, let's see what you can do with this. Okay. She's amazing. You know, right. I guess you wonder where I've been. We search to find the love within. To stop yours. In my world, only you make me do for love what I would not do. Okay. <laughs> In my world! That's it. <laughs> and, and every time I see... Mr. Paul Sandals, everybody. Go! everybody. <laughs> every time I see this guy right here, a lot of, some people, most people know the story, but he got called up on stage by Josh Groban, you know? And so every time I see you, I think of that. You raised me up! You raised me up! You raised me up! And now we're going to a Viagra commercial. We'll be back after this. That's it. I'm happy you to see you, but not, I'm happy to see you, but not quite to that extent. <laughs> they don't piss enough. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So uh, yeah, so this will be great. We're gonna take a ride by. I already drove by to, to do like a little, you know, you know, kind of like case the area. <laughs> no, well, not just to see how it's gonna be. Get there an hour. Uh, or uh, yeah. So, that's, oh. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, we're definitely gonna be there. So I'm sure it'll be a great time, especially if you and you know what do they say from kids from one to ninety two. So that means you can be like my age and chops, and, and you, know, you can still go by there. And you don't have to be. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, maybe maybe we get you to come back at Christmas. That'd be great. That's it. And sing a little Christmas ditty or two. That's it. We'll do it. Chestnuts roasting on an That's open fire. fire. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Jordan Piper right here. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. We're going we're gonna to have Chops and Jordan switch seats as we go to the picture of the week. So, Chops, come on back down to Picture of the Week. You know, we always got to have a sunset for the Picture of the Week. And uh, thank you very much. Picture of the Week, Hot Snake Beach, Westport, Massachusetts. The photo was taken by Shara Grant. You know why? We just love these kind of things because, you know, you know, they say, like, we have, like, the top sunsets in all of the world. So there's one right there oh, the taken by uh, Shara world. Grant. So there's the... Uh, the picture of the week. And uh, Chops did a video collaboration with a group called Trifecta. Mm -hmm. Three singers from New York City called Enough is Enough. Mm -hmm. And that is on a roll right now. So please check that out on YouTube. And check out my friend Chops Turner doing that. So um, <laughs> Chops, uh, what's going on? <laughs> that was a pretty good show tonight, wasn't it? <laughs> hey, thanks, Manny. Thank you, Manny. Thank you, Manny. <laughs> Manny. <laughs> Manny's walking out yeah, going, walking out there. what the hell was that? <laughs> What, what did I just do? <laughs> let it go, let it go. Let it go. Uh, no, we had, a, we, had a, we had some fun tonight. We had some uh, fun. That's what we're trying I enjoy, to do. I mean, That's great, what we're trying to do. Those guys are great and talented, man. I mean, talent. I mean, their talent is unmatched, man. You know? Yeah, well, you know, Manny, right, when he told me how often he practices, oh, he practices, he practices oh, every yeah. day for hours. Every day for hours. That's how you get that good. Oh, yeah. You're just not that yeah. good all of yeah. a sudden, you know, and you have to practice. And he's on Facebook practicing and also Instagram practice. I watched him. I said, wow, this guy. Oh, yeah. He, he reminds me of myself. You know, many years, I don't practice that intensely now because of... You know, I'm out there singing all the time. Right. So I practice on nuances and stuff like that. Well, you know, if you go to to uh, Manny Escobar's YouTube and yeah. Facebook and so forth, there's a clip there of him playing the saxophone, and he like gradually keeps going down. Oh yeah. And he goes a little lower, and he yeah. goes a little lower, and the, <laughs> the microphone is chops, right? And chops has got the microphone. Chops goes down a little farther, and he goes down a little farther, and he goes down a little farther. And before you know it, he's on the floor with the sax like this, yeah, 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 and yeah. you got the microphone, and you're on the floor, and yeah, it's like yeah. I said, this is great entertainment, you know. Man, he's uh, so yeah. He's phenomenal. I mean, 
musician. Um, I, I hired him a couple of, uh, many times to work with the Chop, Chop Stringer band, man. And he, his, his playing is unbelievable, man. And Jordan, he's hilarious and he's talented. Oh, yeah, Jordan's a lot of fun. Too, man. I mean, he's a guy who can go to the top of his head, man, impromptu. Absolutely. Talented, man. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, well, uh, let's see. We got that. Where's that Patriot thing, man? I got... <laughs> Get out of here. I'm going to paste that thing right on your chat. Get out of here. Oh, I'm going to make a hat out of it. Thing, man. <laughs> Look at that, man. He gave me a yeah, hat. Yeah, he was thing, man. <laughs> <laughs> Josh oh, is loving man. that, man. I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't be... If I, Patriot fans, I wouldn't be too cocky after that last game. I'm I'll tell you, that was an ugly one. Oh, that was an ugly one. All we're right. A lot of plays, too. Yeah, we're we, well, we got a little ways to go, but Belichick, yeah. man, I don't know. He's, he, I hope he's not losing his fastball there. That was a nah. that was a bad one. I, I know he had a lot of players out and so yeah, forth, but... Uh, Anyway, all right, so we're going to go home and watch the rest of the 49ers, baby. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's thank our guests, uh, Manny Escobar, Jordan Piver yeah. with this Halloween Spectacular. Our sponsors, Bacos and Dusu and Zader, producers, Josh Souza and Justin Pereira, and two, my friend here, Chops Turner. <laughs> next week, Chops. Hey, next week. Yes, sir. Yes, the sir. Halloween show. Oh, no. With the return of the Salty yeah. Lips. Oh, oh no, man. Salty lips. Robin. <laughs> Martina, Miranda, and oh, I don't know, maybe maybe we might be in costume. I'm not sure. We're, getting, we're working on that. Oh, working on that. Lord, <laughs> that's, that's so the something. Halloween show next week right here. That's Thanks it. a lot for watching, yeah, and hopefully you. we'll see you back here next week. I'm Paul. Good night. <laughs>